Hey, how's it going? It is Felix from NYNews.com. If you haven't noticed, I updated the layout on the channel. A lot of new things for NYNews.com. Check out the Instagram, check out the Twitter, check out the Facebook. A lot of high quality stuff. So Yankees fans and baseball fans in particular, I want to talk about a subject. I ran into a video about how the NBA is growing and what Major League Baseball should do. Here's what Major League Baseball should do. They should do nothing. The recipe that they have now and the recipe that they always had or always will have works where they utilize big market teams like the New York Yankees, like the Dodgers, most recently with the Cubs winning the World Series. The NBA, I've talked about this too on my channel. The NBA will never surpass Major League Baseball in popularity for one reason alone. The NBA does not know how to utilize big market teams. Take the New York Knicks as an example. You have so many stars scattered in like small market cities, while let's say a team like the New York Knicks, who are poorly ran, their top stars like Carmelo Anthony, who I think is overrated by the way, but he's considered a big name, went to a small market team, what is considered a small market city. Major League Baseball needs to stop worrying about if they're going to attract a younger audience. I mean, hello, have you heard of Little League? I think that's pretty popular, even in New York City, where we have cold winters. There's a whole bunch of Little League teams everywhere, scattered all over the country. And you're going to tell me these young players, male and female, that they're not going to be interested in baseball? The problem that we saw with Major League Baseball, their supposed decline, was because of many factors. You had the U.S. government literally go after America's pastime and expose Major League Baseball for steroid use when it's so obvious that the NBA, the NFL, etc., they're rampant with PED use, but baseball was targeted. Then you had social media. You had like the golden age of the internet when, where everybody was logged on their computers and occupied with like social media accounts like MySpace, Facebook, etc. But now you're seeing baseball only come up again because you have exciting young players that, let's say, are supposed to be NFL or NBA players like John Carlos Stanton and Aaron Judge. And you will see more of that because scouts will go out and search for the new John Carlos Stanton or Aaron Judge. I mean, we're seeing that right now. Yes Network had record number of viewers for spring training games. The excitement and attention is there. Major League Baseball has nothing to worry about. Manford is always talking about speeding up the game. Oh, the game is too slow. We need to attract these youngsters' attention spans because obviously they're occupied with what youngsters do, right? So that makes absolutely zero sense. I remember when I was growing up, I played Little League and then I played Nintendo. I mean, before me, people played outside. They chased each other. Not like I didn't play outside. I played outside. I'm just saying. Youngsters are occupied with what youngsters are <laughs> occupied with. Everybody knows that if you watch baseball, a game, when you're like five years old, or eight years old, it's because your father or your mother is watching it. I never heard of any five-year-old, six-year-old, seven-year-old, eight-year-old, nine-year-old tune into a baseball game or any sports game on their own, okay? So I don't know what this thing is about trying to target the youth. Major League Baseball has nothing to worry about. In a few years, LeBron James will be retired. There's no NBA player now that I know of that can match LeBron James. He's sort of like Michael Jordan, but Michael Jordan was a way better player than LeBron. I know people 
might argue with me saying, oh, how could you say that? LeBron's numbers are just out of this world. No, you had to be there when Michael Jordan was Michael Jordan. He was bigger than Babe Ruth, bigger than Michael Jackson, bigger than Mike Tyson. He was the man. And this is the guy the NBA had. So Major League Baseball has nothing to worry about. Like they're worrying about that they're going to lose fans to the NBA. The NBA has absolutely no idea what they're doing. Everybody knows growing up, you know about basketball because you're obviously wearing Jordans, etc. But people really aren't that interested in, let's say, being hardcore fans. You know, like attending the games, buying merchandise, etc. I mean, I could even browse Twitter right now and find you like a thousand female Yankees fans. You won't find that with the NBA. And sure, you'll find more chatter, more talk maybe on social media. But these people that are talking about the NBA, they're not attending the games. Maybe they're tuning in and watching here and there. But like I said, Major League Baseball has nothing to worry about. If you ask me, baseball is on the come up and has a pretty good chance in overtaking the NFL. So the commissioner of baseball has said that he wants a limit on how many pitchers you can use coming out the bullpen because he wants to speed up the pace of the game and he wants to attract young viewers, which is really impossible. You're never going to achieve that. I don't know where that's coming from. I don't know where this pace of game nonsense is coming from. Also, the cool and hip factor is there with Major League Baseball. So all this talk about what Major League Baseball can do to gain popularity, they don't need to do nothing. It has to do with what kind of players you have playing. And as of now, Major League Baseball has a great collection of young players that are highly, highly marketable. Just take uh, Nolan Arenado for an example. If he's in a big market team, that guy could be one of the biggest stars in all of baseball. So if Major League Baseball really wants to expand their brand, one opinion is to have your baseball players star in movies. I remember growing up watching NFL players, NBA players, etc. star in movies. If you want to attract the youth, that registers in their mind pretty good when they see a sports star. In a movie. But I don't know how that works nowadays. I rarely see sports athletes in movies. I don't know what happened. But um, yeah, Major League Baseball has nothing to worry about, man. They're so concerned about the NBA catching them in popularity. I mean, the NBA has absolutely no idea what they're doing when it comes to promoting their big market cities. So guys, I want to hear your opinions on this. Comment in the comment section below. Is Major League Baseball on the come up again? Can the NBA surpass Major League Baseball in popularity? Let me know in the comment section below. So like always, this has been Felix from NYNews.com. Share, like, and subscribe. I will check you out next.